Our next story is uh, presented by Gloria De Leon. Structure that 
it takes really engaging storylines. And yeah, I mean, sometimes there's overacting and it gets cheesy, but <laughs> the good novelas have to draw you in. They have to have a good storyline. The good novelas will reach out to you. They'll make, they'll make you cry. They'll make you really angry. They'll make you think. They'll make you fall in love. They'll make you yell out to your family, hey! Andres is about to find out that Monica is still on the pirate ship with Juan and Diablo. Shut the hell up! <laughs> <laughs> and they cut to commercials, right? Because that's how they do it. Um, but even though there is that basic structure, it's not enough to just kind of create something around it. Look, you can do that. You can create something, and it might be fun and entertaining, and that's cool, and that's fun, and that's great, because honestly, look at the world around us, right? It is fucking bananas right now. Sometimes all we need is a little goddamn entertainment. But whether you're watching a play in a theater or a novella with your family, or you're watching some super intense HBO show where everyone you cared about is pretty much already dead, or you're just listening to your dad tell you that story about that one time he swam across the border and was being followed by that thing in the water that was trying to eat him. <laughs> Good stories always reach out to you. <laughs> they bring you in and they give you a nice, tight brain hug, right? They squeeze out all of your feelings. Now, you guys have had a lot of brain hugs tonight, right? <laughs> Letitia brain hugged you with that blue-eyed boy story. <laughs> Susan, God, I want her to find a Nazi and punch him in the nuts. <laughs> but growing up, I, uh... All right, so Novelas also taught me that I am an actor. By which I mean I am incredibly self-involved. <laughs> when I would play Novelas, I would always play with my cousin Christina and my sister Myra. And neither of which enjoyed any of it. <laughs> now, I am sure, definitely, that they only played with me because what else were they going to do? <laughs> um, Myra definitely hated it because she would just passively resist uh, participating by not saying any lines. <laughs> so we would eventually... Uh, oh, this, this is Myra over here, in case you didn't know. And then this is Christina. And so Myra was just eventually delegated the role of the mute. <laughs> Sometimes the blind one, because she refused to take stage direction. <laughs> but even when Myra um, participated, um, she would sometimes just like leave in the middle of scenes. And it would drive me crazy because she would never justify her exit. <laughs> she just leave. <laughs> so frustrating. Now, Christina, to be fair, was a good sport. And uh, I think she initially would start out wanting to play, um, but then she would get tired of me because, <laughs> well, I always gave her all the roles that I didn't want to play. <laughs> and then I get mad at her for playing them wrong, and then I would end up playing all of the characters, which I think might be why I didn't have any other friends. Now, because of my novela days, um, I always knew that I wanted to be an actor. Like, that was, it was confusing to me when people would ask my peers, what they wanted to be when they grew up, and then they didn't have an answer. Because I don't remember a time in my life when I didn't want to be an actor. Um, that was just the way it was going to be, and there was never a doubt in my mind. And Christina was my novella buddy, right? So I just knew we were going to graduate high school, go to acting school, and then we were going to be famous. Like, that was it. That was the plan. And then one day, when I was in high school, I was having this conversation with Christina. Actually, um, I really would rather you see the conversation, um, but she's not here because she moved to Georgia like an asshole. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna, can I just get someone, like, I just need someone who knows how to read. Um, does not, anyone, you don't have to be good. Which, ladies, what's one of you like to be Christina? Can I get one of you? I just need someone to, to read yeah. this paper. <laughs> I want to be a teacher? You're going to be an actress. Oh, I'm not really sure I want to be.
Just shut it! Shut it! Shut your mouth! Shut your lying freaking mouth! We- You don't, you don't just get to choose something else! Oh. Yes, I do. regreses cuando todos tus planes se hayan ido a la basura. Oh, <laughs> 